Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. What better way to celebrate the holiday spirit than with spirits, cocktails? Raise your glasses to our next guest, Tanika Reeves and Johnny Caldwell, also known as the Cocktail Bandits. Yes! I am so happy to see you ladies today. Yes, In ready. more ways than one. All right. So tell us how you even got into cocktails and became the Cocktail Bandits. Well, yes. Well, thank you guys for having us this morning. Yes. But Tanika and I are friends from College of Charleston, and after we graduated, she mm -hmm. got into food and bev, uh -huh. and really showed me a love and appreciation for the spirit in the community. Yes. yes. That's good. I saw that it was a hustling, bustling business that was up and coming, yes. and we just decided that we wanted to be a part of it yeah. early. Yeah. So we jumped in really early. Absolutely. I've got ties to Charleston, which I mentioned in the uh, open of our show. My dad is from Charleston, so I understand the richness of that beautiful city. So it's let's important. get into what we're going to be making today. We got the Red Nose Rum Punch. Yes, we do. Yes, God, won't he do it? I'm ready. Show me what I'm doing today. Okay. Well, for this time. holiday season, people are entertaining their family and friends from out of town. Yes. So we thought a good holiday punch would be good for entertaining people. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to start with some fresh juices. We're okay. using some lime juice to get some oh. nice... It's going to be in this whole bowl. Yes, oh, we're building a beautiful bowl. My goodness. Because the good thing about a punch bowl is you can have it on display. So people can see it, ah. enjoy it. We're adding some black cherry juice. Ooh. That's going to add some yeah. nice um, earthy notes mm -hmm. and give it some of that holiday feel. Yes. Some cranberry juice as well. That's a traditional yeah, of course. drink to have during the, the holidays. holidays. Mm -hmm. Some pineapple juice. We're from Charleston, so we love having pineapple juice. It means like hospitality mm -hmm. and Service. it welcomes people yes. into your home. So now we got our base. We got our foundation. Yes. Yes. You want to add the juice in first just so you don't mess up any of the liquor in right. case you mismeasure. <laughs> got you. Okay. Okay. Because usually some people, you, you, when you make a drink, you start with the liquor first. Yes. But not the cocktail bandit. No. no. Yes. <laughs> you know, wait the alcohol, okay. you know what I'm saying? All right. So wow. then we're going to add the liquor in, and we brought some Red Harbor rum in from Charleston. This oh. is a, a agricole rum made in a prohibition method, so oh, they're wow. making it very traditional Charleston here. Yes. And we're using a two punch cups of this rum. Love your pour, ladies. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is uh, I like it's a that. punch bowl. That's yeah. right. have the spirit. Absolutely. Now, the last ingredient is a cherry almond liqueur, and this is going to reinforce that black cherry flavor that we added with the juice, mm -hmm. and then also add a little bit more boozy component to it. Yes. Now we're going to give this a little bit of a stir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now this is the fun part when you add all your garnishes in. Oh, and you can have all kind of fun with that. We have cranberry just because we have the cranberry juice mm -hmm. inside here. We got some limes going on to add some greenness to yes. it to reinforce that herbal note. Some mint because who doesn't yes, love mint? <laughs> and then we also have some cran some pomegranate okay. seeds. Uh -huh to again reinforce all that good flavor. Good, now when can I taste this? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you oh, asked. Oh wow, yes, it's so beautiful. And you can make this in advance so mm. people can come in and can have this as soon as they arrive in your home. Sure, may I cheers? Yes, <laughs> please. <laughs> Girl, you better with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, while I sip on this, tell us a little bit about your book. I love that you guys got together and said, let's collectively do something and put it out there for the people. It's called Holy Spirit, yes. Charleston Culture, Culture Through Cook. Cocktails. Tell us a little bit about that and why you decided to come together for this. Yes, um, well, we got our book deal because we were blogging. Yeah. And the publishing company reached out to us and they said they want this in book form. And there you have it. So that is the book. I love so it. So we're going to go on to the yes. cocktail. Uh -huh. And it's featuring our favorite spirit, tequila. Uh -huh. And it's going to be sugar, spice, and, and everything. everything nice. nice. Uh -huh. So the first thing we're going to add is apple juice. We have apple juice and apple cider yes. in this mixed together. So we're going to do two ounces of that. This is beautiful, ladies. Thank you. This is perfect for our holiday show, mm -hmm. if I do say so myself. Mm -hmm. All mm. right. Stop me off on this one. Absolutely. And then we have a little bit of <laughs> I think I'll make myself one too. Yes, you should. You shouldn't drink alone. Absolutely. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> what do the lonely do on Christmas? Never drink alone. No. <laughs> then we're going to do two shots of tequila because tequila is our favorite. We're using Reposado, which means rested. It's yes. been rested for two to 11 months. I love Reposado. Oh, good. I girl. do, yes. I, I'm a, uh, yeah, the I like lady spirits. Of our <laughs> mm -hmm. And what's this, agave? It is agave syrup. Oh, so we're going to add a little spoonful of agave syrup in mm. there. 
So all our cocktail recipes are simple ingredients. Yeah. You can make them at Three home. Three to five ingredients. Not yeah. too complicated. Little it's dish. a good girlfriend day too, because mm -hmm. I was thinking about having my girlfriends over to do like a uh, um, a mix off. Yeah. Yeah. So this would be perfect. Maybe we can have you know try to see who will make some of the best. And shake it all out. Yes. recipes in your book. Awesome. Oh yes. 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 Which one you want to taste, Miss Cole? Which I one you want? I want to try, try the darker one. Well, well, this looks like it's already well, ready, ready, so let's yeah, go with this. Tequila, mm -hmm. honey, tequila, make you. Ooh, this is a little sugar part on this. Yeah, so it is a cinnamon nice. salt, gentle yeah. yes. cinnamon sugar salt rim well, that goes so with good. the actual cocktail. Mm. Mm. So it's the margarita, mm. the cinnamon, and the margarita. But it's a holiday margarita. Well, now let me taste now. Baby, let me taste some. Here you go, Miss Cole. This is my style. That's my style. This is my style. That's your style. That's a big one. Enjoy, ladies. Oh, oh, we will. Too. That is fantastic. That's that's not good. too boozy. First of all, we're so very Let proud of you, ladies. You Thank you. Look, look, it's Lee. <laughs> we're so very proud of you, ladies, for stepping out on faith and doing what you love to do. And now you have a book, and now mm -hmm. you're on sister service. They say yes. they watch us every day. We do. Yes. Thank yes. you cool. so much. Yes. And if yeah. you want a copy of their new book, Holy Spirits, Charleston Culture Through Cocktails, please go to cocktailbandits.com. Can we give it up for these ladies? Yes. Thank you yes. so much.